Hello everyone, welcome to week two of Introduction to Psychology. I apologize because generally I will give you feedback and post instructions for the coming week on Monday. However, my power went out yesterday and was out for most of the day in the evening, so I couldn't send it out. Um, but in terms of feedback from last week, I was glad to see everyone getting to know each other on the Introduce Yourself forums. I was also glad to see a few of you using the Help forum. And I hope that even if you're not posting on it, you're at least checking it regularly because there may be answers to questions that you have. For the correlations and experiments worksheet, generally everyone did very well on that. Um, the only issue I saw was that for the correlations, many of you either did zero or one. In social sciences, it's very rare to get a perfect correlation. A correlation of 0.7 would be considered really strong because in the real world, when we're dealing with people, it's very unlikely that they'll do exactly what we predict. Overall, people did okay on the tests. Um, if you're having a hard time, be sure that you're studying before you take the test. Even though it's open book, you still need to know your material because a lot of the questions are application. And evidence shows that the more actively you study, like quizzing yourself as opposed to just rereading your notes in the textbook, the better you'll do. <clears throat> for the coming week, for week two, we're covering two chapters. The first is on memory. You'll start by reading the chapter, and then you've got an outline. Um, there's also an online demonstration um, and another video. And then your assignment for this chapter is uh, a discussion on eyewitness testimony. Um, so I've got a little summary of a case here, um, and you need to read it and then answer the three questions are up at the top. Um, once you've read the, the summary, you'll answer the questions. Um, once you've posted your initial post, you should respond to at least two other people's posts. And please take a look. This grading rubric is true for all of the discussion forums. Look at it carefully before posting. So you get points for addressing the questions thoroughly and completely, um, making a critical analysis that really shows that you've reflected on the material, and using professional communication etiquette and responding to at least two other people's posts. So make sure you do all of those things in order to get full credit. There's also an opportunity for extra credit. Um, if you want to take what you've learned in this chapter and apply it to improving your test scores, um, and then you submit it as a paper. And then once you've finished those things, you'll take the test on chapter six. And the second chapter for this week is Neuroscience and Behavior. Note that there are a few pages of material that you can actually skip for this chapter. Um, I have a link to a couple of websites. This is a neat website that helps you learn more about what each part of the brain does. And then this is a video example of the importance of the corpus callosum. Your assignment for this, <clears throat> for this chapter is to read a chapter from the book, My Lobotomy, it's an interesting autobiography that should be a, an easy read. Um, and it's up there in PDF, so you'll need to read this PDF. And then once you've read the chapter, um, you'll need to post to this discussion forum. Um, you can see that I've posted six questions here. Um, you need to respond to um, at least two of the six questions, and it needs to be a thorough response. So four to six sentences, yes or no is not enough. Once you've posted your original response, you need to respond to at least two other people's posts. And then you'll finish off that chapter with the test. Um, and that's it for this week. So have a great week. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.